Alright guys, y'all already know what it is. It's June 22nd, 9.51 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 2. We're back with more Phoenix Wright. Yeah, that's right. Get hot. The game is sweeping the nations. So without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I miss my song. But this gen ain't bad. <laughs> this gen ain't bad. Um, Nick? Yeah? Did you know that Van Karma's daughter is only 18? Just like me? Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Well, yeah, why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time, all by herself, and she's so grown up. Yeah. And I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. Then you look at me, and well... I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial. But I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've done. Did you get here? The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Miss Maya. Hmm? What do you mean? My mother's coming today. She'll show her support. It, yeah, yeah, that's right, Pearly. Hey, Pearls. Hmm? This, Mr. Nick? Do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Mia today, too? Huh? I was hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident without her. Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can't show weakness in the front of in front of a Who is she talking about? You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. Pearly, not this again. Please, can you do this for us? Hold on, wait, what, is, what does Maya mean by that? What you mean? What you mean, Maya? What you have been telling her? Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Oh, uh, alright, I'll do it. I'll do it for Missy Maya's sake. See you later then, I'll leave you to... Bro, she's talking about Phoenix and Maya! I'll leave you two to your alone time. Bro, is Phoenix not gonna say nothing about that? Nick? This way, Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What, what do you mean? What's going on? Oh, y'all already know what it is. It's June 22nd, 10 o'clock a.m. District Court, Court number two. Oh, we back in this motherfucker. Court is now in session for the trial of my friend. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's start it already. God darn Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. Damn, she's already in her form! Bro, oh, she don't waste no time! <laughs> Bruh, all over the world, huh? Sounds like you made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish, you foolish fool wearing the foolish, foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who's never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Well, I made your dad lose a case, so I can definitely make your bitch ass lose a case. So let's get it. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me, as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh-huh. That's nice, Miss Von Karma. Hm. Glad to see you're in such a good spirit today, Miss Faye. It's true what they say. Women really are scary when they fight. <laughs> now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. 
And this key is proof of that. This key is the only way to getting into the channeling chain. But it was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. <sighs> Alright, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined that the time of the murder to the time of, from the time of the murder to the time of the arrest. The defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. What? Oh shit! But Miss Von Karma, then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying then that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Then what is the meaning of this? All I'm saying is that Maya Faye, after killing the victim, exited the room. After killing the victim, keep that. And I believe that is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your lay? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Faye, to the stand. Just as I suspect, aunt Morgan. Poor Mia. She seems torn up about this. I got your back, girl. Witness, name an occupation, please. My name is Morgan Fay, and I am a spirit. In a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean in a manner of speaking? Uh, I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, am I right? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Mayan. Spirit severing technique? A technique to move a spirit from my body and send it back to the other world, that is. Wow. Damn, that is... Oh! You, be quiet. Now, witness, something happened while you were performing this technique. Am I right? Yes, that is correct. What in the book could have... Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room. What? Pow. And here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Fay, while in possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. I ain't gonna play the song. This song is so fucking lit, bruh. Oh shit! <laughs> Miss Faye, please testify to the court about what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante on this trial. After we had the gunshots, those two broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from Miss Maya's hand and she was in a daze. Then quite suddenly she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. With a great strength she hit the base of my neck. And I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. What? Uh oh. Why have you hidden this until now? I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be nice about this. My voice changes when I mean business, and motherfucker, I mean business. I I, I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mr. Gaia. However, I must correct falsities when they arise. <laughs> That's right. She's simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Why is she making it a point to take a stab at me? <sighs> Never mind. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. My aunt is a very smart and sly person. Look what the fuck she said. Cunning. Sneaky. Bitch. <laughs> it's gonna be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. Alright, let's get it!
that we had to go fast, those two broke the door. Okay. I requested that Mr. Wright, the other lady, please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from her hand and she was in a daze, I believe that. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from her. Mm -hmm. Was it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit to such a thing, however, yes. But you're physically stronger than the goddamn defendant. There's no way she could have escaped from you so easily. Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? <coughs> what about this picture? Remember that at the time, the defendant was not physically my effect. <laughs> hmm. Growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know first, eh? Basically, Mr. Wright's body still that of the nurse she had called. But if she had run away, wouldn't you have given Chase right away? Well, yes, I would have, however. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck. And I fainted for a short while. I don't believe that. <coughs> you fainted? <laughs> I became dizzy and then I collapsed on the floor. How long were you unconscious? I, uh, I'm not sure. About 10 minutes, perhaps? Mm. Then the defendant almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Happy witness? Elaborate on that point first. Is that because you were unconscious? Why, yes. Great. Well, now what? So while you were unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went? I would think that's obvious, good sir. If that's true, then how can you know for sure the defendant left the cham channeling chamber at all? Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. Oh, oh. It's true that this witness is not able to confirm this. But the key word here is this witness. Wait, what do you mean by that? You have another witness or something? It means she has another witness up her sleeve. Fuck. It's not what we wanted to hear, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like Miss Von Karma is ready to move on to her next witness. I can't see a crack in her testimony. What should we do? For now, we should try and get more information out of her. After we get more information from her, we may be able to use it later to our advantage. Just now, you said those two. Who were the two people you were referring to? I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself, good sir. <laughs> um, love is not a foreigner. Display how she talks. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I simply could not understand her atrocious English. Not to mention, she looked awful. She like, you look dusty. <laughs> Damn. They can already see people in the heartland gearing up for a ride. In any case, I have already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright. Oh, uh, thanks. Hmm. What did you do after that, Miss <laughs> Faye? Was it really necessary to have two people? Oh. 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 Bro, she wanted to get us away from the goddamn crime scene, bro. I still think it's her, bro. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But look what he said, bro. That's so smart. She made us both leave. So she could do whatever the fuck she was doing, bruh. Hold up. Hold up, Phoenix. Was it really necessary to have two people do something so simple as call the police? Sorry, fine. If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. 
That is a very good point. Objection! At that time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another. Another what, madam? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. I want to hear the end of that damn sentence. There was another reason you wanted both of us out of there, wasn't there? Uh oh. You better testify. When did you chase us out of that room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. What? The lives of both the good, sir, and the camera woman may be in danger. Is what I thought to myself. Oh, y'all think she lying? Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. Now people got a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us napping. <laughs> she caught us lacking. <laughs> That's my arm for you. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Wright? Miss Faye, please continue. During our investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head. And this strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by the statement? I'm afraid I don't. That statement I gave you was a lie. Look at this shit here. But why would you lie about something like that? It's a very painful for me to say this, however. Uh oh! The witness was lying to cover the defendant. She was covering for Maya? So you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes. It was only later formed of what had occurred. That the renegade mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. Something unexpected? What, Perito, did she? Wow. Oh! This witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always later. Hell no, she could make some shit up later. Fuck that. What is it suddenly for the rock in the pit of my stomach? <sighs> That's enough. From what I can tell, there is nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. But from what she has said, we can establish that my fate did leave the chamber. I hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the ass. Now let's take the next logical step and ask. Where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes, yes. That is it. Oh, be quiet, you. Now then, what the escapee had done when she had gone to speak with a certain person. She, wait, went with a speak with a certain person? Who did she talk to? Who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Eeny Meeny. The prosecution calls Miss Eeny Meeny, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Eeny Meeny? I think you can see where this is going. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Witness Name and occupation Um, okay So my name is like Amy Meany And I'm like researching like Parapsychology stuff at the um University What is this parapsychology? Um, I see. It's like, I guess, most people call it occult stuff. If that's what people call it, I can say I understand what that means. God damn the disrespect. Then should you go home and research it for yourself? Yes, sir. <laughs> now then, Miss Meany. After the murder took place, you spoke with the defendant, my effect. Alright? Um, well, hmm, I, I guess. If that's the case, then let's hear your testimony. That right is alright, isn't it, Your Honor? Yes, sir. For the love of all good. You have some spying for my sake. 
<laughs> After the murder. Like, when the channeling started, I was like sleeping in the side room. Like a little later, someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. It was like, oh my god, totally my sister. I probably hadn't seen her in like so long. I was so happy in like a sad way. My sister, she like told me something. Like totally terrible. Wow, hold your horses, young lady. You're saying the person that ended was your sister? Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Faye? Really now, Your Honor? Maya Faye was still in the middle of channeling at the time. Are you saying that the spirit was the spirit of this witness's sister? Yes, Mimi Miney. She was the nurse at the Dr. Gray's clinic. Oh, well, this is... Witness? Like, yeah. In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. What tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we love to hear about it. Um, like, do I totally, like, really have to? Of course. Miss Money, please. My sister, like, this is what she said to me. And I'm thinking about Donald Rova and this nigga pops up with a Hina picture. But this might be having some fire ass game. Like, I ain't gonna say gamer pictures, but I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. Mm. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? She took her revenge. Are you sure that's what she said? Yes. There. Are you satisfied, Your Honor? I still can't believe it. I can't believe that a spirit would go so far as to use a medium to get revenge. It is a bit hard to swallow. However, all the evidence and testimonies point to this as the truth. The end. Oh man. What do you think, Miss Dory? It certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. <sighs> this. This testimony just now. Was it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. Mia! Wait, what do you mean? It's well constructed. But that's all it is. But even the most well spun lies can be undone. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find that one loose thread and unwind this tapestry of lies. Your Honor, there is room for doubt, so the defense will cross examine this witness. We believe that our cross examine will. Cross-examination will reveal the real truth behind this murder. Yet again, the foolish fool spouts out more foolishly foolish travel. I wonder if you'll make it this one more entertaining than the last. Like when the channel I started, I was in my side room, I believe that. A little bit later, someone came into the room. <sighs> Do you know the time? Um, uh, like maybe a little before 11 a.m.? Something like that, I think. Damn, I don't even tell you when he died. That's, that's very vague. Super vague. 11 a.m.? Yeah, like, my stomach is totally ready for, like, food. Oh. Oh, no. I think you misunderstood me. I'm not asking what time it is now. I mean, what time was it when that someone came into your room? 
Oh, so like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more clear about it. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... That's it? Why did you stop mid suit To that? So, like, what was I talking about again? Never mind. Witness, about this person who entered the side room. It was like, oh my god, totally my sister. Are you absolutely sure? I guess. You, what do you mean you guess? Was it or was it not your sister who entered? Like, I don't know. I mean, like, I totally don't know your sister at all, Mr. Smith. First off, my name is not Mr. Smith. Second of all, I'm an only child. Hmm? But more than that, she managed to mess up the question with her answer. Well, Mr. Wright, the defense rests. Well, that was a colossal waste of our time. Now then, witness, how did you feel when you saw Miss Mimi, Mimi Miney? Hadn't seen her in so long, I was so happy, you know. You were happy in a sad way? Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister. But wouldn't most people react here with surprise at seeing a dead loved one again? Um, but like, maybe if, it, if I was, like, someone who didn't know about, like, the occult. But I know everything about the terrain channeling technique. The point here is that witness immediately recognized that it was her sister. Yeah, like what she said. Mm. Should I drop this line of court? So you really didn't think anything strange of the soul? And no. Like there wasn't any reason for me to think anything was strange. But uh, don't keep battering her. Do you know the phrase objection? Could you try using that once in a while? She doesn't say it a lot, actually. Hmm, Mr. Wright, this question of what the witness felt when she saw her sister, is it really that important? Oh, it's very important, although I haven't quite figured it out yet. But I got a bluff for now to make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. All right, Mr. Wright. Miss Mimi, the testimony. Like, okay. I'm like, totally cool with that. I wasn't like scared at all, and uh, uh. All right, so this is where we hit her ass up. We gotta hit the Tupac. Let's hit him up. It's clearly. And her costume looked totally like normal. <laughs> Get that motherfucker! <laughs> That was a very well spun line, you see. Hmm? What, what are you babbling about this time, Mr. Phoenix, right? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. Still in my lines now. <laughs> you know I look up to you. Shit, I wish I could have married you. Miss Manny, remind you of what you said? You said that there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, and... But I don't think that's what you were thinking at all. 
Take a look at this picture. This is a picture of you of the sister you met. I wouldn't think that even you would be surprised. I would think that even you would be surprised if someone appeared before you like this. The blood spray. Miss Mighty, why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? You were really testifying and not lying? You would have noted it right off the bat. <laughs> oh, she lying like a of heart. Miss Money, what is the meaning of this? <laughs> Miss Money, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, motherfucker. Whoa, whoa. And what are you stammering on, Your Honor? Uh, I mean, yo, y'all acting kind of crazy in here. That witness, her person just hit a, hit a complete 180 there. Yeah, lots of people do that when they get on the stand, though. First of all, calm yourself, witness. Alright, I, like, didn't mean a snap. Now, hurry up with this testimony. If you please. Ugh! The judge still was a little shook up. A lot of help he on me. Like the side room was like kind of dark, you know. Or, like the costume is like purple, right? The blood totally blended in. I read it, my sister. It wasn't a right to do something like that. And then, like I took my sister to the channel and came. Now I see. And you have given us a clear reason. Why you didn't notice the blood? You think? Like, thanks, friends. Are you satisfied, Mr. Wright? Alright, I guess not. No, very well. You may question the witness. side room was kind of dark, you know? So, like, the costume is, like, purple, right? The blood totally blended in. And I, like, persuaded my sister it wasn't, like, right to do something like that. And what, what was your sister, Miss Mimi Miney, like at the time? Well, she was, like, the doubt, because she just shot Dr. Gray. But I think, like, she knew. She, like... She said she did something really bad. And like that. And like, she said she wanted to go with me to, like, apologize to Miss Morgan. Did Mimi's spirit really say all that to you? Like, yeah. Then, like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Was your sister coming by that point? Like, I guess so. I mean, I guess maybe, like, taking her revenge on Dr. Gray, like, made her feel a lot better. I like to, I'd like to feel a lot better, too, Mr. Finish, right? The sooner the better. She says with her whip at the ready. <laughs> and, like, Miss Morgan, who was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? We ask you one more thing? Like, sure. Was there anything you found strange or just out of place? Something out of place? Like, when do you mean? Uh, when, um, when you... <gasps> I'm talking about when you arrived at the channeling chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. <clears throat> what should I do? Think harder. I know you can remember something. I, like, totally can. 
just give up already, Mr. Phoenix, right? I wonder if I put too much faith in him. To do anything with that brain. It's no good, I can't find anything wrong. Phoenix the Jib believes in this testimony. You don't find some sort of hitch in her statement? No, you're the child. I know. Talking about when you were going to the challenge, I believe. Um, like, no, nothing strange. She answered rather quickly. Now what? Think harder. I know you can remember something. I totally can. <sighs> it's not good enough. You gotta explain yourself clearly to this court. Do you think, Mr. Wright, that whether or not there was something odd on the way to the channeling chamber? Is all that important? I ask because it's very important. Not that I know where I'm going with this. Very well. Miss Money, if you please include a statement about this in your testimony. Like, I don't get why, but okay. I didn't see anyone on the way to, like, the channeling chamber. Yo, do we present Pearl? Yo! Do we pre do we present Pearl here? Yo. I think we present Pearl here, or we can present the ball. Seriously, the one of those two. So... Like I said, either it's gonna be Pearl or the ball, bruh. Now, honestly, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cut that music off. You say you ain't seen anybody on the way to the channel chamber? That's a fucking lie. Like, what, 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 what do you mean? <sighs> I'd like to introduce someone to you. This is Miss Morgan Faye's daughter, Pearl Faye. Interesting you have a semi-intelligent look on your face. So what about this child? It just so happens that at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the center garden. The garden? <laughs> yep. Which means anyone walking through that area would have seen her. So Miss Miney, what do you got to say to that? <laughs> the court can she she's a bit of an airhead yikes she's just like her dad when when her, her dad was talking about lana also she was leading her sister at the time do you honestly think she would have noticed the simple child playing preposterous okay. fuck that it's not preposterous and i can't prove it what sort of foolish there's no way someone walking along the way could not have noticed Pearl. Cause she broke the goddamn jar. This urn is my proof. An old crack play pot. What's that gonna prove? Do you know why it's cracked? It's because Pearl broke it, that's why. She broke the urn. Yeah. What? Why do I feel like you're about to ruin my beautiful day? This urn was broken around the time of the channel it started. Ah! And Pearl was the one who put it back to While sitting right in the middle of winding way. <laughs> yeah, she learned like a lot of heart. Miss Money. <sighs> Pearl was there in the winding way at the time, wasn't she? She was hard at work putting the pieces together to the urn, you see.
you couldn't see that while you were walking? You must be like that girl. You must be legally blind. I think we have sufficient we've sufficiently proven me, Miss Mighty. That you're a masterful liar. <laughs> Mr. Wright, you need to watch what you say. Fuck that! The one that needs to watch what she says is the fucking witness! So, Miss Miney, tell us the truth. Uh, about what? About what? About where you really were at the time of the murder, of course. Objection. The witness just testified about that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I was like sleeping in the side room. Can I really believe this lying bitch? Of course not. There's no way. Your lies in here. What, what, what are you? The witness says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. Right? And I say that is impossible because there's a clear contradiction here. A contradiction? Really? Where is this contradiction? <laughs> Just say help me, Mia! <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious! Hey, it could be talking about the clothing box. The answer's in the court record. What? what? Hmm. Planning with another irrelevant piece of evidence, huh? Very well, the court will see this evidence. Wait. Me? Yeah? I don't know what you plan on showing for the court, but I can guarantee you the answer is not there. Just this once, I'll lend you my hand. Now rethink your answer. All right. The witness says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the sight. And I say that's not possible. Because there's a clear contradiction here. A contradiction? Where is it? Earlier in your testimony, Miss Money, you made the following statement. And, like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? It's true that at the time, both myself and Miss Hart were not there. We had gone to call the police. So, like, what does that, like, have to do with anything? Well, it's very simple, honey. How did you know that fact? How? How? I can see that Miss Faye was the only person in the jailing chain. However, someone who was asleep in the side room could not have known that. Which means, Miss Money, you did in fact go to the channeling chain. But you didn't go there by way of the whining way. Ah, she learned! But Look at the manor guide map. If one were to go between the side room and the channeling chamber, one would have used the winding way. Yeah, that's right, Your Honor. Which is why. Which is why I asked this very important question. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um, er. Uh, Miss Money, answer the damn question. Objection. Don't ask the question off a of baseless assumption, if you please. <sighs> well, I suppose since she put it on the table, Mr. Phoenix Wright. <sighs> you might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Now's your chance, Phoenix. Yeah. The only person who could have killed Dr. Gray. So now's the time. So now's the time to prove it. 
Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Where was the witness when the murder took place? Always one at ease. Miss <laughs> Miney was here, of course. What? But but that's the channeling chain. Isn't that the crime scene? That's right. Miss Miney was at the at the scene of the crime. Wow. That's why. That's oh, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Have you lost your mind? Yesterday, yesterday's testimony and established that only the victim and the defendant were in the channeling chamber when the channeling started. Yes, yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. So, any meaning was hiding at the scene of the crime. I, I was hiding. Where? Where was I hiding? <laughs> It's either gonna be this or it's gonna be this. But I'm thinking. Here, of course. Behind the folding screen. Ah! Don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. There ain't no way anyone was hanging out behind that folding screen. See, you stupid jerk. Whoa. Quit being so, quit being so quick depending on me, slime ball. Whoa, wait a minute. One so young as you shouldn't be saying. Shut it, Gramps. As if you already know how... Whoa, as if you know exactly how old I am. I'm sorry. It's like the pipe's about to burst. Guess up. I, I should help it along. Oh, she looked pretty as fuck right there. The witness was hiding behind a photo screen with the help of this. Is it going to be what I said? <laughs> Ooh, let's get it. Trust in yourself. Believe in yourself. Just do it. How were you able to hide yourself at the scene of the crime? <laughs> it's actually pretty simple. Oh, they playing it. They playing it. They playing it. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta let it rev up, bro. I gotta let it rev up. You were hiding inside this box. Oh, that, that, that tiny little box. Nobody could fit in that. <laughs> I'm gonna let this shit play. <laughs> Bro, sorry, but your theory has already been disproved. Lotta disproved you when she was disproved you when she was hiding from me in it, cause she found a hole in it. Um. But that clothing box was in a side room, right? Which means it has nothing to do with the murder at all. Yeah, that's right. I was sleeping there, so I should know. Hey, I like when she does that. She looks pretty right there. She looked like a sister right there. The clothing box was there in the side room the whole time. Hmm? Well, Mr. Wright, do you think you can prove where the clothing box was at the time of the crime? Now this is interesting, because I'm not sure about this. That shot is so clean, bruh. It don't make sense. I had to get that shot on SoundCloud, bruh. I was like, yo, 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 somebody need to make a remix with this motherfucker. I swear, bruh. But, um... <laughs> I don't know. Or 
Kubi say the screen? Because they both have, they both have a bullet hole eight inches off the ground. Could I say the screen, dog? Can I say the screen, dog? Can I say the screen? And now I present the piece of evidence that will prove this clothing box was at the scene of the crime where the murder took place. Like I said, guys, believe in yourself, and on the count of three, we're gonna persecute this lying bitch. One, two, three. Take a look at this lowly box. You're so stupid. As if there's any sort of evidence in that old thing. Wait, this is... Wait, what on earth? I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. There's a hole about eight inches off the ground. <laughs> now where have we heard that before? Uh, the, the, the phony screen, it had a hole of the same height. <laughs> That's right. I hope this opened your eyes to what happened. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen. Which is why the bullet from the pistol hit the box and the folding screen at the same time. It went through the screen and then through the box. <laughs> Miss Money, you were hiding behind the folding screen waiting for your chance. Your chance to kill Dr. Gray. We gotta let it ring out. Let's get it! Ah! Y'all hear that beat? So, what do you say? Th then, M Mr. Phoenix Wright, what about this picture? Are you saying that the person in this photo is any me? Now that we look at her? Now that we look at her? Now that we look at her? Like, not, not now? But when she's twirling her hair, she looks just like her, bruh. She looks just like her. She literally looks just like her. That's exactly what the fuck I'm saying. Miss Eeny Meeny, you were hiding inside the clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Faye. Wait a minute, to masquerade as Maya Faye? She had a plan from the start. She would kill Dr. Gray and pin the blame on my client. I like how the music just came back in. N no So stop! I, I can't stand to listen to any more of this foolishness. If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I have a proposition. This whole idea that the witness moved the closing box to the crime scene. needed to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime. Here it goes. <laughs> It's not possible for one person to do it all by themselves. Oh, oh, dung dung rope. We gonna say it like they say it. Dang dang rope. Bang. Accomplice. 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 Come on, come on, come on. No, it ain't possible. Come on, give me my chance. I'm throwing that bitch in jail. It, it, it really is impossible for one person to do it. That is. Ow! Did I remind you the foolish receipt? No mercy. Wait, Miss Von Karma, you said it was not possible for one person. Correct. Yes. What? You, you can't be serious. Yes, yeah, you have to blow a gasket. Mimini. You had an accomplice, and you seen who the fuck I was looking at. So, three. One, two, three. Uh, this person! <laughs> if it wasn't someone for Korean Village, you wouldn't have been able to get that costume. And if it wasn't someone for the Fay household, you wouldn't have that box to use. Morgan? Fay? Isn't that the wonderful lady witness we had earlier? What do you gotta see to this, bitch? 
You shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands. <sighs> Do you deny it? She found a boss. Uh oh. I thought she was no boss. I think this is what really happened. And this man doing the closing argument. The murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. Dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. And then the channeling started. The murderer crept silently towards the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged my effect, the strong sleeping agent. Then, she stabbed Dr. Grit with a knife. Oh, I love that though, man. Holy shit. Next, she hid my clan inside the clothing box. She did that so she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. That's something unexpected happened. Unexpected? Yeah. Another shot. Dr. Gray was actually not yet dead. The last of his strength, he fired a shot at, at his attacker. And that is why the hole in the folding screen was so low to the ground. The murderer then took the gun from Dr. Gray and... Uh. After that, you and the other lady thought to break into... Yeah, a good shot is certainly something you would want to hear. Which is why, upon hearing the shots, we forced our way into the channel chamber. Miss Meanie, she immediately covered her own costume with blood. And pretended to be my effect. But that, that sort of deception would have been easy to see through. Which is precisely why Morgan Fate chased us out. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Hurry, before there are more victims here. What? What is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. Mm. 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 <laughs> oh, she breaking it. Who is that laughing at a time like this? That's, that's any. Oh, you simple-minded fools. I'm sorry. Are you still by chance evolving? What is this bitch talking about now? Miss Von Kong? Surely, of course it was me. Do you really think someone of Von Karma blood would lose due to something this petty? What in the world? Mr. Phoenix Wright, your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. The bullet hole, and that is... This witness is the real murderer. Why would she go through all this trouble? Hmm? Working together with a medium, pretending to be one, putting on this whole act. What reason would she have to do such foolish things? Uh, well that's, uh... <laughs> Yeah, she, she looks like her now. You see her? You see her eyes? You see how her eyes are? She literally looks like her now. Yeah, you see those eyes? They're almost the same. It's, and it's crazy because... I want to say her eyes are smaller. Yo, on some Junko Mukuro shit. Her eyes look smaller. Yeah, her eyes look bigger. If you if you look at her eyelashes and the length of her eyelashes, her eyes are definitely bigger. Way bigger. So like I said before, I think that's her. Well, I mean, I know I think. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I was going to say. Oh, and one other thing. 
Why would Eenie Meenie want to kill that? Great. Where is her motive? Yeah, that's exactly what I want to say too. Yeah, motive. I don't have a motive. <laughs> a motive? That's... I can't say she has a motive. I can't say she has no motive here. I gotta think of a motive now. What's her reason for wanting Dr. Gray dead? The reason you wanted Dr. Gray dead is this. You brought me with your silly answers, Phoenix Wright. Just great. Now even she's calling me but I feel for it, man. You think I did this to get revenge for my sister's death? <sighs> yeah. Because through that accident, you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proof that Dr. Gray Dr. Gray drugged my sister, right? And you want to say I wanted to take a revenge based on nothing? <laughs> what do you mean by that? See now, stupid Gramps. I'm like going to explain, so like, please listen, okay? It's been over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If I like want a revenge, then like I wouldn't have waited this long. Um, and besides, like the guy that thought of the spirit thing was like Dr. Gray. It was like a total coincidence he asked me about it, you know? She's back to her area for something. However, you see- Ow! Pathetic, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You failed to support your own theory. The end. I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What he has stated is very true. The revenge plan is overly complicated. And she has no motive in the first place. Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. You don't even have, have an, any truly decisive pieces of evidence to demonstrate your point. Huh? Yeah. So many faults, Mr. Phoenix, right? You should really lie in your face. Ah. What happened? I thought I had it for sure. <laughs> like, it's just as I, like, told you. Hmm? I hope you like your sliced of humble pie. Very well. Now, I now conclude the cross-examination of Eve. Whoa. It's Pearl. It's Pearl. Your Honor, please allow the defense one more, one more minute. All right. You can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. Me? Yeah, it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for a murder. But you know, regardless that, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. R wait, really? Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There's a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray. And it's also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Time's up, Mr. Wright. Your final answer, please. If you want to say that you can prove Miss Lanny had a motive, then why did she kill the victim in this way? Can you provide the reason? Can I? Can I do this? I'm not totally confident here. But I know that I must press on no matter what. That's it, Phoenix. Only you can do this now. I'll show and substantiate the fact that Miss Mighty had a motive. <laughs> too bad you're too late. 
My cross-examination has already ended, after all. <laughs> Interesting. I'll let you have your chance. Mr. Phoenix Wright, she don't have Vegeta shit. She don't let me go to my final form. What? You're supposed to be on my side. Aye! She said, aye. <laughs> A Von Karma only cares about the perfect win. As long as you have the will to fight, I will knock you down, Mr. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> and I don't care. So help me. I'll throw you out of my way. Very well. The court will take a five minute recess. We'll continue the cross examination after we reconvene. Alright, so at this point, at this point, we're going to go ahead and end the episode off here. And when we come back, we will be back with more Phoenix Wright Justice for All. This shit is getting spicy, juicy. Man, it's getting all kinds of shit up in here. So let's go ahead, take a short break, say it again, and when we come back, we will be back with more Phoenix Wright. Justice for all.